this is the dash command it's an app um, you can actually get it for free from the App Store or from Play Store and I found it to be really good uh, it's got a whole host of menu options what I like particularly is the gauge the gauges you have a uh, options that you wouldn't have with uh, the factory dashboard and um, I'll just give you a quick look at these now so you can see I've just got a Holden red background there to sort of match in with the car uh, fully customizable um, the gauges so you can have a bar graph or needle uh, type gauges whatever colors you want um, so this one in particular, this page I'm looking at here, we've got trans fluid temp, corrected vehicle speed, we've got transmission output shaft speed, input shaft speed, just the RPM, uh, converter slip, see I'm in gear um, at the moment, just stationary, it's slipping a fair bit, that's 750 odd revs a minute, and e torque so newton meters through the transmission very handy um, particularly if you're racing track days and that type of thing to have a trans fluid temp gauge this uh, vehicle has a external cooler fitted and it runs really nice and cool which i'm happy about some other pages uh, so we've got a massive big taco there coolant temp trans fluid temp again just on a different screen uh, engine temp, uh, that's the oil, engine oil temp, and timing advance. What else have I got here? So I have uh, mass airflow, uh, short term fuel trim, both banks, percentage of uh, throttle, it's on. Intake air temp, another one that's very important for track days and that, particularly if you're getting heat soak. Uh, load on the engine, so that's a percentage. Air fuel ratio is not working yet. I haven't connected that vacuum, manifold vacuum, and fuel pressure. So again, some very handy gauges if you're doing uh, track days. Just go back to the main menu. Uh, we might have a look at the performance screen. So as you can see here, um, this screen will time your 60 foot times 330 quarter mile thousand foot uh, and eighth mile there's also some staging options there um, so it can time your, your quarter mile I found it to be pretty accurate not dead accurate but within a very small margin of, of accurate so I've got a fair bit of confidence in the readings so that's the performance menu you just have to accelerate the start and that'll start but I'll just go back touch the screen main menu dashboards so this is the dashboard as well this is the shift function we also have the engine function again some of the key variables you want to see fuel which I haven't got set up because obviously I don't care a lot about fuel economy and uh, and yeah the performance dashboard so uh, this is just a, a pretty much a fact uh, a standard setting with dash command if, if you touch on some of these functions they'll go to, uh, to, to different um, parameters so yeah I've been really happy with it the app is free as I said the uh, GM additional GM um, PIDs uh, to run these few extra things like trans temp cost $9.95 and it cost me $79 oh, sorry $69.95 mm -hmm. For the OBD2 Wi-Fi uh, connection from JCAR Audio. So it just sits down there in your OBD2 port and it has a little Wi-Fi adapter that you need to connect your device to. Just going back, some more features. And I'll get out of this menu. So main menu uh, is um, diagnostics. So this will map data as well. As you can see there it's mapping at the moment the car's running uh, you've got some logging options so you can start data logging or you can go to uh, some of the log files that you've previously logged 
see also with the SS, the VF Series 2 SS, you need to set it up as an 09 Chevrolet Corvette uh, LS3. So if you're wondering. So there's some previous data logs that I've logged. Handy to uh, help tune the car and give you some um, actual um, data from the engine management system and the transmission control module. So we might just, um, for a bit of a cruise, camera down.